Who is Juana Brionis? Have you ever wondered why your school is called Juana Brionis? And what about that park across the street? If you thought it sounded like a Spanish woman's name, then you were right. This is her story. When we look into Juana Brionis's life, we find out that she was a very important woman. Juana's grandparents and parents came to California before it was California with De Anza's expedition in 1776. When they got to the Santa Cruz mission, they stopped for a while. Juana was born in 1802 in a place called Villa Branza Forti, which is now part of Santa Cruz. But she grew up in San Francisco in the Presidio because her father was in the army. They lived in a place called El Colon Springs, which is still there now. She learned farming skills there, as well as how to use herbal medicines. Currently, there are people who are ex excavating it, looking for artifacts from the people who lived there before. She got married and had 11 kids and lived in this spot. There, she grew fruit trees and developed the land. But the man she married didn't turn out to be so nice, so she moved to another house in the North Beach section of San Francisco. This is a plaque commemorating her life there. She had farm animals and sold milk and eggs and vegetables that grew. She grew to the other people living in San Francisco. She knew a lot about medicinal herbs, so people came to her when they were sick and she helped them. She taught her nephew everything she knew about helping people and he became a doctor. Together, they went to Marin County to help with the smallpox outbreak. San Francisco started to become too crowded for her, so she moved south and bought a ranch that was 4,400 acres large. That ranch is now the southern part of Palo Alto and part of Los Altos. This is her house. Juana was a good businesswoman, and when California became a state, she had to fight to keep her land, but she did it. The house is still there, but it is badly damaged and no one can live in it. She moved to Mayfield, which is now where Stanford is, when she got too old to take care of her farm. When she died at age 87, she was buried in the Holy Cross Cemetery in Menlo Park. She was an important woman who did a lot of things for the community of Palo Alto, which is why our school is named after her.